And what if your source is a little Endian database, but it's not Linux, or it's a different like CPU architecture of Linux? And this is where DataGuard comes into play. So let me show you what heterogeneous DataGuard can do for us here. In this case, in the setup, our on-prem database is, for instance, a Windows server. And you can build up a standby between Windows and Linux since Oracle 1107. Or you can do the same thing with Intel Solaris as a source, I think, since 11.202 or 11.203. Redo apply to the standby, standby in the cloud. And this is the combinations which are allowed are described in this My Oracle support not MOS node here. So the data guard support uh, for heterogeneous primary and physical standby in the same data guard configuration node tells you which platforms are allowed to play together. And we check this here for you. And in Vidola transportable platform in the database, you find all these strangely named platform names. And here you see marked in green the ones where your on-prem database, your source, can be on to allow you to have a standby, a physical standby set up in the OCI cloud. And this all is described step by step in this excellent white paper called Hybrid Data Guard to Exadata Cloud Services. But even though it is Exadata Cloud Services, of course, the process is exactly the same. And you can do the same thing, not only into XACS, but also into a bare metal or DBCS instance. That's also possible. 